We begin the final weekend before you decide 2014 as we move from the wind to who will win. Wisconsin elections officials say the number of absentee ballots cast so far is up from four years ago. The Government Accountability Board saying today that more than 240,000 ballots had been cast either by mail or in person by early this morning. That's about 10,000 more than voters cast in November of 2010. Absentee voting, of course, is only part of the election's puzzle. The GAB has predicted 2.5 million people will vote either absentee or by showing up Tuesday. That would be a record by almost 20 percent for a non-presidential election in Wisconsin. For the vast majority of people who will vote, the nominees for governor are still trying to persuade you. One stop today for Governor Walker in our area, and Mary Burke arrived in downtown Green Bay just a few minutes ago. Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe is there. And Andrew, what's the plan for this evening as this final campaign push continues? Tom, Mary Burke is talking to customers here at White Dog Black Cat Cafe in downtown Green Bay. Also at the same time, Governor Walker is campaigning with New Jersey's Governor Chris Christie in the Wausau area. We have a picture from Governor Walker's campaign of an event happening now in Schofield that's near Wausau. Earlier today, the governor was in Hobart, and we have balanced coverage. Governor Walker rallied for support from employees at EMT International Friday morning. The company manufactures printing equipment. I asked for your vote on Tuesday. I'm asking for your vote this Tuesday, November 4th. The governor was in Sussex before Hobart. He later traveled to Schofield and Rhinelander. Before Burke was in Green Bay Friday evening, she stopped in Marshfield and Madison. Making sure that people understand the issues that are important in this race, why this is important to the future of Wisconsin. St. Norbert College political science professor Charlie Jacobs believes Burke is mostly focused on rallying Democrats in urban areas. She's really been working voters in the Madison area and the Milwaukee area. So to overcome whatever gap exists, and the polls seem to suggest about seven points now, she's going to have to go really farming for some votes. Jacobs is referencing this week's Marquette poll, which showed Walker has a seven-point lead over Burke among likely voters. Milwaukee is important, but so is every area of the state, and that's why I spend a lot of time, whether it's going to Green Bay or Marshfield or Superior or Kenosha, Wausau, every area of the state is going to be important in this race. Governor Walker also maintains he's counting on votes from across Wisconsin. But he says the northeast corner of the state is critical to his success. So northeast Wisconsin really is huge to our campaign. It's a swinger. I've done well here before, but so did Senator Baldwin two years ago when she ran in her first race for the Senate. So it's an area that can go either way politically. The governor added he's not concerned his supporters will stay home on Election Day, even after the poll showed he had a lead. Looking ahead to tomorrow's campaign stops, candidates have stops planned all across the state. Mary Burke plans to campaign in Wausau, Rhinelander, New Richmond, La Crosse, and Appleton. Meanwhile, Governor Walker plans to campaign in Minocqua, Hayward, Eau Claire, and La Crosse. For now, live in Green Bay, Andrew Lacombe, Fox 11 News.